Hey guys, I'm the Hero. Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple did release an update today, although it isn't the update that I know most of you guys were hoping for. No, it is not iOS 17 developer beta 2, unfortunately, but Apple did release an update that is very important for those of you who are not running iOS 17, and that is iOS 16.5.1. Now, this update brings a few improvements and security patches, and of course, it is recommended for all users. Now, again, if you're not running iOS 17, this is an important software update for you. It is available as of today, so you can go ahead, of course, head on over into settings, go into general, go into software updates, and iOS 16.5.1 should populate for your device. Now, Apple also released iPadOS 16.5.1 alongside watchOS 9.5.2 and macOS 13.4.1. Now, this software update brings improvements and bug fixes for this iPhone, especially security patches, which Apple has mentioned too on their release notes that were currently being used and exploited. So it's very important for you to update your iPhone. But the other fix here, according to Apple's release notes, as you take a look right here, it says that this will also fix an issue that prevents charging with the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. So if you were trying to use the adapter for the cameras to import your photos while charging and you were having issues, this was a known issue on iOS 16.5. So 16.5 5.1 aims to fix this particular issue on the iPhone but most importantly in my opinion are the two security issues within the software that were currently being used in the wild and currently being exploited which is very very important for you to update to iOS 16.5.1 iPadOS 16.5.1 and of course the latest watchOS and macOS as well now if you have an older iPhone like an iPhone that does not support iOS 16 Apple has also updated those iPhones as well so today Apple released iOS 15.7.7 as you can see right here this is the iPhone 7 plus as you can see right there one of my favorite iPhones by the way but this software update also brings security patches in place for older iPhones I love when Apple does this they don't forget about their older devices they also released it for older iPads that support iOS 15 but not iOS 16 so iPad OS 15.7.7 is available for older iPads as well as well as Mac OS 12.6.7 and Mac OS 11.7.8 so older Macs are also being patched here as well. I love when Apple takes care of older devices for their customers. It's really nice to see. But again, we're still waiting for iOS 17 developer beta 2. Unfortunately, it's not here just yet. I was hoping for this software to drop today on a Wednesday. This would mean that Apple would have followed their iOS 16 schedule. But it looks like this software was more important than the beta for Apple at this point. So we can expect iOS 17 developer beta 2 most likely tomorrow on the 22nd. I'm hoping because my iPhone's battery is just crazy. Of course, that is the nature of beta software, but there's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of issues, battery drain, and I can't wait for the next update. I can't even adjust my music settings here in iOS 17. But anyway, guys, those are the quick updates for you guys. Again, iOS 16.5. Point one is now available for those of you running iOS 16. Older devices, iOS 15.7.7 is now available for you guys as well. Now you guys have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Have a great day. Hopefully I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.